Hello, this is Dr. Kamani, licensed clinical psychologist. Do you feel like you are giving up or that you are letting them win, them win if you leave a toxic job? I'm speaking to Black women if you are in this situation. So I've been in a situation where I got trapped in this uh, false belief that I was uh, in, a, in a, a, a fight that was I was able to win, okay? So you may be in this situation too, and I wanted to come on because this is something I have experienced, but I've also heard other Black women talk about, that there's this view that if you leave a toxic job, then you are a quitter or you're giving up or you're letting them win. But I just want to ask you, sis, what are you fighting for? What are you trying to win? And who are you giving up for? Okay. So just in terms of when I think about it, you know, when you think about this, you're fighting, you're fighting. Uh, when you think about a toxic job, the whole system is toxic. So Stephanie Perry talked about this too, in terms of there was a woman who called in or wrote in on her live and said, oh, I'm going to retire in a few years. And Stephanie said, wait a minute, sis, you know, I, I ask you to just maybe reflect on that because when you're in a toxic environment, that is poison. So that poison is getting into your system some kind of way. So when you think to yourself, I cannot leave this job because then they will win, right? Or I feel like I'm giving in. So let's let's reframe that. So do you feel like they are, you are winning by remaining in a toxic environment that's harming you? Okay. Also, are you giving up on what, right? And are you calling in something else for yourself? Are you saying no more? Are you taking uh, control over the situation in terms of agency, exercising your agency and saying, this is not the life for me. This is not what I want. Okay. So are you letting it go? Okay. So again, I think for us as black people that we we get in this mentality sometimes about that we have to fight because we, we have to fight all the time, right? We are fighters. And so we're very used to fighting for, for where we are and fighting for our um, positive sense of identity and the, the fight is, is within us. Okay. So I think what's happening is that we get so ingrained with that notion that we have to fight that if we get a job and a job that let's say is well, right? Um, maybe we have some good so-called benefits and I'll talk about that in a minute that we might feel like other people are taking something away from from us and we have to fight for it, okay? So I wanna first dispel, if we think about um, something, uh, a job giving us benefits, but it's harming us, that makes no sense, okay? So if a job is harming you, if a job is causing you any moment, you know, in your life where you dread waking up, Stephanie Perry talked about that when she interviewed me in um, a video she talked about, um, the title of the video was, Black women leaving toxic jobs. So she was talking about dreading waking up. If you dread waking up, if you dread any moment of your life in relation to a toxic job, I want you to think about that, okay? Is that a, is there a benefit in there? Okay, is there any benefit to your life with that? And if the job is causing you physical harm so that you are developing some type of disease or something like that, so you have to go to the doctor more often, you're in the hospital, all these other health ailments, is that a benefit? Okay. If you are experiencing such psychological distress that you are starting to see yourself in a negative light, you are starting to um, uh, engage in self-loathing behaviors because you of what you have to tolerate and in order to stay at that toxic job, is that a benefit? Okay. If you are um, you know, dreading getting to work on your way to work, you just in distress, you're crying, you're, you know, praying, you're talking to your friends and family after like their job is consuming your life. Is that a benefit? Okay. So I just wanted to just put that out there. Okay. I have other videos talking about, you know, what is this job costing you? 
And again, I am talking to Black women who recognize that their toxic job is harming them. I know sometimes it's Black women that we are in survival mode many times, and we sometimes feel like we have to keep moving. We don't have time to stop. We've got to juggle all these different things. So I want to just encourage us to pause and think about where we are in our job, the impact that the job is having on us, and also to start looking at options for us. I'm not telling anyone, and I cannot stress this enough, I'm not telling anyone to just up and leave your job. Everything will be okay. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is, number one, if the job is harming you and you're in immediate danger physically, psychologically, about to have a nervous breakdown, something like that, yes, immediate, okay? But if that is not the case, what I have been talking about on my channel is how do we help you? How do I help you? How does I support you? And looking at your options. So if that's getting another job, if it's starting your business, I'm going to have a masterclass coming up soon about how to get your money ready, how to get your money right so that you can prepare to leave. So what does that look like? So that masterclass will be coming up. The masterclass I have today, which is in collaboration with Emery Archer, who is the anti-HRHR lady, is save yourself, channel your inner Harriet so that you can leave that toxic hostile job with your sanity and your coins, okay? So we have an inner Harriet. We all know about Harriet, okay? So we are helping you find your way out and find your way out with your to get some psychological healing because when you are in a toxic work environment, again, Think about that poison that you're around. Poison will impact you, okay? So the masterclass provides an opportunity for you to jumpstart your healing journey and also to think about as you are exit planning, as you are getting your stuff together, how to document, how to interface with HR if you choose to or not, um, and also how to get your coins if you got money that needs to be addressed in terms of getting your money before you leave, okay? So the masterclass is today, okay? So I'll put the link in the description section. So click the link if you are ready to be in the masterclass. So it starts today. It's a two-day uh, masterclass. Um, and if you are not available to join right now, if you maybe are seeing this video later, today's past, and you're like, oh my God, I missed the masterclass, it's okay. You will be able to access the replays, okay? so. You click the link below and you'll get either, if you're watching this in real time and you want to um, purchase the masterclass now, you can do that now, and or you can access the replays, okay? So anyone who registers will be able to access the replays. And again, I just want you to think about what are you fighting for? What are you trying to win? Are you really able to win in a rigged game? Okay, I just want you to think about that. And the thing about, I don't want to let them win, okay? Let them win what? I, I know I was in that. I was in that. I'm going to fight them and I'm going to um, try different ways. I used to call myself the Harriet at my former job and I was going to do all these different things. But slowly I began to realize that I was fighting on my own. There was no one who could really help me. And the system was not set up for me to grow. It was not set up in terms of all the things that it purported to be. It was not those things, okay? And then the system was maintaining um, toxicity. It was maintaining an environment where bullies, you know, workplace bullies not only were protected, but they were promoted. So look at your environment. Look and see. You can assess and see your work environment. Is this a work environment where they truly honor and value their employees. I hope that is your experience, okay? Um, if that is not your experience, I want you to look at and I want you to assess how do they respond to workplace bullies, okay? If they know who the workplace bullies are, I know in my situation, they clearly knew who the workplace bullies were because other people have complained about the workplace bullies. There were lawsuits against the workplace bully, right? So they know. So if they know that, then I want you to think about how can you win at this game, okay? And when you look at when the system, when the, when the job is saying that it's, it believes in one thing, 
what is really happening in terms of the actual ways that you see being people being treated, other people, because that's a telltale sign. So when you're able to see how other people are treated, particularly people who look like you or look like us, okay, that will help you in terms of determining what type of environment this is, okay? Now, for me, I used to work for a school district and I recently, and again, when I talk about healing, you know, the master class I talked about before, that will help jump help jumpstart your healing. Okay. So I talk a lot in, in the videos that I've done, particularly with Colette Elizabeth and just other videos on my channel, that the true healing starts once you leave the toxic job. You can start the healing process, right? So the master class would allow you an opportunity to start the healing process. But the healing is an ongoing journey. Okay. So I talk about my healing journey, which is ongoing. I'm much better now, but I am still healing. Um, Anne Marie, who I am co teaching with for the master class today, she is a toxic job survivor. She's still healing. Colette Elizabeth talked about it, Marissa Price, all of these people. And if you are watching this, you are probably in a toxic job. Okay. You probably know about the Black women who are in a toxic job, so you are not alone. But what I want you to, to recognize is that there might still be trauma triggers even after you leave the, the toxic job. And so that's something that I'm going to talk about in the masterclass too, is that even though you've left, let's say you left a while ago, I left a while ago, there might be certain things that happen that remind you, it's like a trauma trigger. And I'm going to teach you about ways to deal with that, okay? Because we can feel like, what's wrong with me? Why am I not? Why is this bothering me still? I'm no longer at the job. Or why am I just not just so elated once I left the job or leave the job? And that's what I talk about in the mass class too. There's a lot of different, there's so many layers in terms of the process of leaving a toxic job. There's the fear, dealing with the fear. There's the grief of, oh my God, I got to leave this place. This is, you know, I'm not going to be able to do the things that I wanted to do in this job. Or maybe people at the job betrayed you particularly those people that you thought you could trust, okay? Um, and also that mindset that, I, that I'm losing something or I'm letting them run me out like I'm weak. You are not weak for prioritizing yourself, okay? So you are not weak for saying this job is hurt, harming me and I need to make sure that I'm okay. So if you are working to help other people, how can you help other people if you can't help yourself, okay? If you are working with children, how can you help those children? And this job is taking you away from your own children in terms of your own well-being, your own physical, your own mental health. So when you go home, are you still thinking about the job? Is it still like they're with you and you're not fully present with your kids? Dr. Nadia Lopez even talks about, and she even had a video with her daughter in terms of the impact that the toxic job was having, not only on Dr. Lopez, but on her daughter, okay? So just think about that. Think about what are the benefits. You are not weak at all for saying to yourself, I want no more of this. I choose myself. I am not giving up. I'm letting go of the toxicity. And think about what are you calling in for yourself? What are you calling in for your life? I hope that you are calling in something very different, and I hope that you are open to receive information to help you get out, to help you not only survive in terms of financially, but to thrive, okay? So there's different resources for that. So I know for me, I, I you know, went into coaching, and that helped me tremendously so that I was able to replace that income and surpass it, okay? So coaching might be an option for you. And again, as I said before, I'm going to schedule another masterclass coming up with a financial psychologist. And we're going to be talking about getting your money together as you plan to leave, okay? So getting your money together as you transition to something else where you are making money as well, okay? So again, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to abruptly leave, but I just want to say to you, sis, if you are saying to yourself and or if you are hearing people say this to you, I, same thing for me, if you're hearing people say to you, girl, don't let them run you out of there, or, you know, if you leave, you letting them win, 
or you've invested too much time for them to let you let you get out of here or whatever. Reject that, okay? Because what are you winning? And at what expense, at what cost to you? If it is causing you to not appreciate time in your life, if it is causing you to um, question yourself, if it is causing you to have issues in your family or in your friendships, and if it is costing you even seeing a future. So Marissa Price talked about this in her video, no job is worth your life. Okay. So I will put that information, her video link also in the description section. So again, there are so many options for you. Okay. And I want you to be able to say, you know what, if that thought comes in your head, if somebody says that to you, like you giving up sis, or don't let them run you out of here, or, you know, they're going to win if I leave. That's not true. Okay. That is a, that is a messed up way of thinking. I won't say what I want to say, right? That is a, a mind trick. Okay. So don't, don't lie to yourself. Okay. That is a, a mind trick. Don't get caught up in the mind trick. Okay. Again, resources available for you. And as I'm signing off today, again, I hope that you click the link in the description section to access the masterclass, which is save yourself, channel your inner Harriet so that you can leave that toxic hostile job with your sanity and your coins. That starts today. Okay. So if you happen to miss it, if you happen to miss today, if you're watching this in the future, you will be able to access the replay, okay? So again, if you click the link, then you'll be able to register and either see it live or get the replay. And as I've mentioned, I need to say this because I've heard of this. So if you have any concerns about your employer finding out that you're participating in the masterclass or anything like that, you're going to need a meeting ID to get in. So we know everybody coming in. The other thing is this setup so that it's a Zoom, but we won't be able to see you. You can see us and you can use a different name in terms of um, putting your name in the Zoom. So if you have serious concerns above that and you feel like, uh uh, I'm still concerned that my employer is trying to find me. I did a video about LinkedIn trolls. Okay. If your employer, you know, people who work at your job and they are LinkedIn trolls, another option is just to get the replay. Okay, so again, you could click the link below and access the replay too. Okay, so as I'm signing off, please remember to like this video. So thumbs up. Okay, um, also please share this video with other Black women who are in a toxic job. And unfortunately, as I said before, this is so common that more than likely people you know are in a toxic work environment as well. Okay, so I want to help Black women leave a toxic job and live well. Okay. And I also want to ask you to please support other black women in leaving and healing from toxic jobs. So again, my business name is lifting as we climb consulting, because as I am healing, this is the birth of my YouTube channel last year. I created this YouTube channel as a way to help support my own healing but also to help support other Black women healing from toxic jobs, okay? So my hope is that you are part of this and that you are helping to support not only your own healing, so again, click on the link for the masterclass, but are you helping other Black women heal from a toxic job? I hope you are. I hope you are helping other Black women, okay? So signing off again, click the link, do the thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, Lift Dance with Crime Consulting, Wellness Services. And I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.